the heavens are celebrating the way we've praised and worshipped danced and jumped the heavens are happy amen welcome elder Kamia there's a project that the church is running he's going to give us updates on on that project you're welcome elder Kamia Praise God. Um, um, about two, two months or so, uh, this church was reminded of that heavenly mandate. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I was in prison 
and you visited me. I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was naked and you put something on my body. And then the righteous ones will ask you, when did we do that? And then the, the Lord will answer you and me that when you went to Gaba community and you saw those people uh, making international and local calls in buveras and bottles, you did it for me. Amen. So we, are, we, we asked ourselves, how can we help these people? So our project coordinator, Brother Ivan, uh, was sent there by our overseers, um, Mr. and Mrs. Claude and Nicole Shanice, and together with the blessing of our overseer, of our elders, and we, he surveyed the place and said the most pressing need in the area is, is a, a, a public toilet where people can go and ease themselves. You know, if you have never had, <laughs> uh, I'm already having a problem with my, my stomach right now. And I am imagining, <laughs> it's like <laughs> God is really, really telling me, do it quickly for those people. Because <laughs> how can it be that when I am presenting it, I am having a trouble yeah, because it is important, a very, very important thing. There is nothing that is as cruel as when you have a need to make an international call and someone says this place is locked. I mean, you can do anything. You, you can run mad. But thank you, people. The Lord bless you, the CNC. The Lord bless you, Elder, uh, from this side, Elder Nico Shani, our overseer, First Lady, Elder Claude Shani, our overseer, Elder Dr. Joseph Okia, Elder Lydia Kamia, uh, Elder uh, Honorable Mole, <laughs> uh, we represented you in absentia, Elder Dr. Stephen Asim, we represented you. Elder PC Mahoro, thank you very much. Uh, Elder PC, uh, sorry, Elder PC, we are hunger. And then Elder PC Mahoro, and the Elder Professor Dr. Bashasha. Uh, and all the members who contributed, the, the project is, is, is actually this week. We are threatening to complete it this, this, this week. Uh, Ivan, come, please. Uh, give me those slides, and, and so I can give accountability to the to, to the people of God. Uh, you can see there when the the first day when I went, that is about uh, two weeks ago. Uh, that's when I visited the area LOC. And then we, I was taken to the place which was given to us by the area, the area people who donated the, the place to us. So in that place, I was being conducted around and we were being shown the place which had been donated to us for the project. The, uh, we call it a sanitation project, a public toilet. Uh -huh. Now, immediately that very day, the excavation started, and the, 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 that, that is a digging for the 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 the, the uh, it's called the septic tank, because the, the the toilet is going to sit on top of that septic tank, and then now there is already uh, building of the septic tank, and the here we are, uh, uh, still building the septic tank because we had to make sure that it is very strong because that area, uh, that area is very is weak when you go deeper. That is nine feet below. We dug up to nine feet. 
Yeah. So we needed to have uh, Mitayimbwa and the uh, agri uh, aggregate, is, uh, a lot of sand, a lot of cement, but all was provided because you people of God were generous. Um, yes, in a record time, um, uh, uh, five million shillings was raised, honorable. Five million shillings was raised in under 20 minutes from this church. Hallelujah. Uh, so we are seeing the, 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 the septic tank being built from down and now the wire mesh, the metayimbwa on top, we, are, we have already covered it and, the, and now there is this kneel already, you can see it is already finished and the, I think that's the last slide, uh, the last slide is there. We have already finished the, 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 the building of the septic tank and the, those holes, those two holes you can see there are the, where the calls international and local and international where will be done and then the, both sides, this side will be uh, for, 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 for those calls and the other side will be for, um, for, for bathing and short, uh, yeah, bathing. So the, our people will have one place for men, one place for women. The other side also for bathing, there will be one side for men and one side for women, girls and, and, and boys also, of course. And so it is going to be a beautiful, uh, people are very excited, very happy. Wherever we, whenever I go there, they, they, they call me Donny, but they <laughs> They call me Don because of you, <laughs> so I am your Don. And soon I will, I will, I will take you people so that they see the real Dons. Um, for me, I am all, I'm only doing it because you sent me to do it. So thank you very much. The Lord bless you, Doctor Okia. You're welcome. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Is it Elder Don or you say Don Elder? Because I, I hear them say Don, Don Nicholas, Don who, Don Charles, Don, Don Elder, Don Elder Valen, Don Valentino. Hallelujah. We praise God for 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 that work and for the faithfulness. Uh, Ivan, where is Ivan? Thank you, Ivan, for being faithful. And uh, yeah, let's clap for the, the team. <clears throat> Things are actually happening. Um, CK, yes, CK, we are very happy. Um, Although there is an interesting thing uh, God is telling you, and I th it seems, you see, the Bible says all things must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. Now, Elder Nicole, our overseer, prayed, and she mentioned that you will always remember the Lord. And she prayed against backsliding. Then, Elder Valentino gets a word as he stands here. Simple word. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble. Now, as that was going on, God was also giving me another word. Uh, let me read it. This is for you uh, still, uh, CK. It was from Deuteronomy chapter 8. 
Deuteronomy chapter 8. Be careful to obey all the commands I'm giving you today. Then you will live and multiply. And you will enter and occupy the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors. Remember, CK, how the Lord your God led you through the wilderness for these 40 years, humbling you and testing you to prove your character and to find out whether or not you would obey his commands. This is what God was doing. For you, of course, you were suffering, but this is what God was trying to do. He was trying to find out whether or not you would obey his commands. And I want to say that God found you obedient. And he found that indeed you would obey. It says, yes, he humbled you by letting you go hungry, CK. He humbled you and then feeding you with manna. Manna is, uh, is miraculous food. Just sudden food, sudden you come, you come to church, you don't know, then suddenly there's some money. Yes? Um, yes, he humbled you by letting you go hungry and then feeding you with manna, a food previously unknown to you. You are not used to that kind of life where you wake up, you don't know the plan, and, and then somehow there's a plan. He did it to teach you that people do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Meaning, when you have a question, when you are hungry, you look for that word. God says, go to church. God says, be in ministry. God says, lead the ushers. And you do it. And somehow, provision comes. God did this so that to teach you, CK, that people do not live by bread alone, salary, money, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. For all these 40 years, CK, your clothes didn't wear out. Yes, first we've always found you very smart, looking very good, very elegant. Yes, it is only when you, you talk to, to you, then you would notice, hey, Bambi, CK is suffering, but your clothes did not wear out. Your feet didn't blister or swell. Think about it. Just as a parent disciplines a child, the Lord your God disciplines you for your own good. Eh. So, that's another heavy word. So, obey the commands of the Lord your God by walking in his ways and fearing him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land of flowing streams and pools of water with fountains and springs that gush out in the valleys. Hallelujah. It is a land of wheat and barley, of grapevines, fig trees, pomegranates, olive oil, honey. It is a land where food is plentiful and nothing is lacking in it. Hallelujah. It is a land where iron is as common as stone and copper is abundant. See, iron, copper, all those things are there. Gold, yes. Karamoja is a very rich, rich, rich region. Verse 10, when you have eaten your fill, be sure. Tell your neighbor, be sure. Be sure, CK, to praise the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. That is the time to be careful. Tell your neighbor, be careful. Be careful, CK. Beware that in your plenty you do not forget the Lord your God and disobey his commands, regulations, and decrees that I'm giving you today. For when you have become full and prosperous and have built fine homes to live in, when your flocks and herds have become large, CK, when you have built houses, you build houses in Karamoja, build houses in Kampala, build houses where? Yes? Your silver, your bank accounts, maybe they had closed or they were about to close. Now they will be full. 
your silver and gold will multiply verse 14 do not become proud that's why elder comes here and says be humble be humble you know we all know that god gives grace to the humble but he opposes the proud you know that scripture but i also share with the youth that sometimes someone is humble because god has humbled them yes some of you you are just humble because you've been humbled yes that's why you're humble but should you get a chance to escape from that situation we will really feel you hmm? we will feel you thank you elder don even though you became don still a humble man yes so some of you you're just waiting waiting ck the things god is going to do in your life will be astounding those things that were in the past are in the past the, the the way he's going to come this time it will be on a totally different level those things you lost you think the cars you lost the houses you lost the property you lost it is nothing compared to where you're heading and what god is preparing for you and so god is saying be careful when you see it happening verse 14 do not become proud do not become proud at that time and forget the lord your god who rescued you from slavery in the land of egypt do not forget that he led you through the great and terrifying wilderness with its poisonous snakes ck you have seen the poisonous snakes around you where eh? scorpions it was hot and dry can you imagine such a place it is hot but not only hot <laughs> You know there are hot places, Mombasa, but nice. You know there are hot, nice places, Mombasa, Zanzibar. Eh? Those are nice places. But this one was hot, but also dry. And that is where Sike has been. He gave you water from the rock. He fed you. He did this to humble you and test you for your own good. He did all this. All this, so you would never say to yourself ever, I have achieved this wealth with my strength and energy. Eh? They call it rags to riches story. Eh? That I had nothing, but you see, eh? I, 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 I have worked. Hmm? I have uh, the magazine I have tried. No, God is saying, let that word never come out of your mouth remember tell your neighbor remember tell your neighbor on the other side remember he says he did this so you would never ever ever say to yourself me ck chartered accountant mighty woman of god see no remember the lord your god he is the one who gives you power to be successful in order to fulfill the covenant he confirmed to you ck with an oath hallelujah let me stop there it continues but a word to the wise confirmed by three witnesses is sufficient my sister, we celebrate with you. We are happy for you. We have joined with you in prayer. And we also join with you in this word. To be humble, to remember that it is the Lord. God bless you. God bless you, Elder CK. And God bless you as you head out there it is going to be very very exciting hallelujah and i must also say ck has really served uh, 
with diligence. Any task that you give her, she does. And God has raised her up uh, because of that. So, you can also take a hint from that. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this time in your presence. Thank you that you're already here. Thank you that you've already started touching our hearts, giving us courage, giving us hope. Thank you, Lord, for this incredible testimony. Thank you for the, the, the party we attended of uh, Tony and Via. Thank you, Lord, that young people are getting married in our midst. Lord, it is really a blessing. And we, we know that there are so many more weddings going to come out of this parish. So many weddings going to come. So many babies, so many families. Lord, it is marvelous, oh God. So, Lord, as we come to your word now, speak to us, Lord. Lord, we do not come here to listen to a man or to listen to a woman or anything. We come here for you, to hear from you, to be touched by you, to be healed by you. Let healing flow, let power flow, let virtue flow. As we open up your word, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Wow. You heard the word CK gave, divine repositioning. This is the word God spoke to us from end of last year, and it is still the word. Divine repositioning. Meaning God is repositioning us. And that is why you're seeing these things. We're not surprised. We, did you see anyone looking surprised when CK came here? No. And yet she had not told, she had not told us anything. She came and she said, you people, I'm going to Karamoja. I'm like, yes, of course. Divine repositioning. God is repositioning. So many people. Someone like uh, now, Tony, Via. God is repositioning them. From a bachelor life of Rolex. Yes. Yeah, there's something called Rolex. It's now a national... Uh, a national symbol yes yeah we are proud of it it is one of the things which is ugandan hey rolex it is now i understand it's even in the dictionary oxford dictionary has the word rolex from uganda yes yes but when it time comes for divine repositioning tony i think tony is resting we don't expect him to be stuck on the manner of those days. Rolex. We don't expect him to eat Rolex. We also don't expect him to eat Chikomando. Yes. What else? What? what eh? Eh? <laughs> Elder. <laughs> Fellow HH, there's a new thing. They call it Jack Bauer. But I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, Jonathan, come tell me what's Jack Bauer. Come, 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 come. Tell us, tell us, tell us. I'm surprised. How, how, does, how do you know these things? Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer. Okay. It's, it's like uh, when you want to have a bit more than a Chikomando. So they, they, they give you like some chips. Some, it's like egg chips. Chapati, different things. Just, it's a big meal. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a Chikomando plus. Hmm? Yeah. So, Chikomando, which is uh, the chapati and beans. Then you add the chips. Then you add the uh, egg. It is so it is a Rolex Rolex plus. Ah. Eh? Ah. Eh. HH, please come and uh, tell us. Eh. HH. You, you know, we ask HH, we, are, we know a lot of things. Yes. So there is a bigger one. 
I, I have not eaten it, so. So it's bigger than Jack Bauer. And how do I know? Because we used to promote it as a national delicacy. From Rolex to blah, blah, blah. This one is called Basaja Valava. <laughs> thank you, thank you, my fellow. Uh, he's the General Secretary of our association of Honorable Husbands. And you can see we have a lot of knowledge in things which are important. Clap for uh, Elder Dr. Steven. So, see, that is how God is amazing. I thought I was the one who had prepared, but now I've already learned two things which I didn't know. Jack Bauer and Basaja Balaba. Divine repositioning. Yes? It means things change. God is changing your position. He's giving you a new location. Things must change. For now, I will tolerate uh, Byron and who you can continue with uh, Benji, Rolex, for now. But Tony, no. Genesis 12, chap chapter 12, verse 12. Genesis 12, verse 12. This repositioning has a purpose. Yes, that is why you don't have to fear. A lot of people uh, in this season, they, they're going to be afraid because God is going to realign things. Yes, he's going to tell you now it is a different thing. Maybe you are, you, you've been working at a certain job. You are hoping that, you know, you're going to be promoted or something. But God is now telling you something different, a different direction. But it has a purpose. Genesis 12, verse, uh, verse 12. We read this. Genesis 12, verse 2. Verse 2. The Lord said to Abraham, Leave your native country. Just like CK. Now he's going to leave. Just like what's her name? Donam. Donam, we are waiting eagerly to hear. I don't know if anyone has heard from her what is happening, what is. We are waiting for her to return. She came in ministry and almost immediately God said, leave. Time to go. So she climbed on the plane and went. We are waiting to hear how things are that side and for her to come back. God told Abraham, leave your country, talking about your location, your relatives, the people that you are used to, and your father's family, your lineage. Uh, overseer, uh, 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 Papa Claude talked about jumping out of that lineage because some of the things that are in that lineage you don't know and you can't handle and jumping out and coming into the lineage of Jesus the lineage of God verse 2 and then it says, your father's family, and go to the land I will show. It is God to show you, not you to tell God. Some of you, you're already telling God. Eh? My land is Dubai. Pastor, pray for the visa. My land is what? What's the other place people go to? Oman. Who told you? Who told you that that is the land? It is God to show you. And it says, I will make you into a great nation. Hallelujah. CK, that is what God is saying this morning. He will make you great. Great. Our elders, you think that you, this is what? Like retirement work. I'm sorry. Hmm? God will make you great, Elder Lydia. Our brother has, has gone to attend to important matters hmm? God is going to make you great Elder Honorable Molly don't think now ah, I've reached no you see that is why you're sitting here in front yes God's eye is on you 
he will make you great he will make you great it says i will bless you and we looked at you know their starting point the starting point is to be blessed i will bless you and then the next level is from being blessed you move to other people knowing that you're blessed you become famous dear elders elder peace be aruhanga i'm so excited about the bible study aren't you excited about the bible study eh hey, is that how people excited people elder peace for those of you who don't know has spent hours and hours studying the, the word of god did you know that you didn't you just saw her moving what hmm? not only that she even went to bible school am i lying yes she went to bible school yay some of you are not happy why why because you didn't go to bible school you you that. she went to bible school can you be happy tell your neighbor to be happy hey because remember we also said that envy and jealousy are the big problems around this repositioning yes she studied she was already blessed and she is a blessed person hmm? but now elder peace you moved must move to the next level because it says i will bless you then i'll make you famous meaning other people should also benefit from those hours of study those hour that word that god you have chewed and distilled others should also benefit from it so we saw step 1 you are a blessing you are blessed step 2 you become famous others also know about the blessing and step 3 you will be a blessing to others i will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you actually it doesn't say i bless, uh, curse you my translation says those who treat you with contempt <laughs> very dangerous you can be cursed just by treating others with contempt and we said what was the word uh, uh, the con- word contempt in luganda is what <laughs> contempt contempt is what uh, can we have the msaja wakavaka yesterday tony was presenting uh, his certificates from the, those kingdom certificates yes so what is contempt in luganda me i don't know eh yes ck come 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 those are very important words because god is saying i in this deep, deep, i can bless you but also you can get cast and how do you get cast by treating others with contempt so this is a very important word tell us tell us those words uh, loosely translated contempt is akin to kujoga kunyoma kumanyira you know the kuisa mu ensonga maso kuisa mu ensonga maso yeah so okumanyira kujoga oku kunyoma yeah that's why they say we shall hold in contempt of court onyoma ligenda maso in court yeah so buli ana kunyoma they will get god bless you hallelujah some of you are fond of kunyoma ring something is happening you're like hmm they come people are are making a toilet some of you were like hmm a toilet 
how is that connected to 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 the kingdom of god we come here we say what tony and what we are getting married some of you are like hmm. we shall see eh? then you, some of you you even go into bets me i give them one month some of me i give them two we shall see. that is hey. we tell you we're going to do this we're going to do that for you you're like we shall see they say so and so is going to start something you are like ah let me first watch we're starting a bible study you're like i will not go there let me first see if that thing is still there in a, like a month i will go the bible here says you are at risk of being cast and that is not why we're here are you here to to receive curses no blessings so this is the purpose of the repositioning that we would be in the right position to receive God's blessings and it is based on the word that God wants to bless you make you famous and make you a blessing to others and so we started looking at the life and the journey of Joseph in Genesis chapter 37 very interesting Joseph was uh, one of the youngest brothers there was only one who was younger than him Benjamin and Joseph had the favor of his father just like God's favor is on you so one day his dad made for him a special gift a beautiful robe but his brothers hated joseph eh okumanyira oku nyo okujoga imagine someone else has got a blessing then you hate that person my brother my sister if that is you repent Someone comes here and says hallelujah God has blessed us with a new car The other day we were praying for a new car of an elder I will, I will not mention who but we went and prayed Now they have never come and told us about it here in open because they know some of you the moment someone gets blessed you get a problem you get a problem We don't see you in church for a month. You have gone into into serious intercession. See God no. At, at least so and so but not that one. And what about me? Yes. I've been here faithfully serving. The brothers hated him because he got a blessing. And it says they hated him because according to them the father loved him more. And it says they couldn't say a kind word to him. That's why the Bible says let love and kindness never leave you. Just kindness can defeat these demonic forces. That's why we celebrate first time visitors, my brother. We're so happy. Let's give him another clap. and we really always try to shake you up a new person comes again you look you're like huh. now another one has come when for us we're still here kindness now verse 5 says one night joseph had a dream and we said that The journey of divine repositioning starts with a dream and a word from God. 
and God has given you dreams. Those dreams we said are from God. And we saw here our brother, Mr. Tunes. He has a dream to be a singer, to be an artist, to be a businessman. And he told us about that dream. He was talking about it in the, in the youth meetings. Hey, God has called me to make music and what? But he had not done anything. But he told us. Just like that also, Joseph told his brothers, thinking they were good people, like you people. Amen? Tell your neighbor, like you. A good person like you. You share your dreams. They are happy. They celebrate. But, look at what happened. Imagine. He said, listen to this dream. We were out in the field, tying up bundles of grain. Suddenly, my bundles stood up straight. And your bundles gathered around and bowed down. Politicians go through this every day. Because to become an MP, you must declare your dream. You must say, today I announce my intention. 2020. Honorable Are we 2026? We are. Hey. Yes. 2026. Honorable Mole Asimwe is coming for woman MP Rambara. Akalulu. No, 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 please, people. I have just explained to you, tried to explain to you the thing. I have tried to explain to you the thing. But now, people see people are not happy. People are like, ah, ah. It's too much. Hmm? She's already done one time. Now, uh, repent. Repent. 2026. On NRM, NRM ticket? NRM ticket. Woman member of parliament. Rampara. Honorable. Molly Asime. Ha, 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 ha. Yes. No change, no change. Why change? Man? Change. Yes. Yeah. You have started to get it. Hmm? Be happy. Yes. At least one choir member is happy. God bless you. God bless you. You have to share your dream. For better or worse, you must share your dream. But when you share your dream, it starts a process. Those who are called to support you, they cannot come out until you share your dream. Until Alex told us that he is having a business of earpods. Eh? Airpods. Airpods, earpods. Airports, whatever. <laughs> You're like medical students. See, medical students, we, we ask them questions on the ward. Hmm? They're like, in this patient with high blood pressure, if we give them adrenaline, the pressure increases or decreases? It increases. Yes, it increases. Very good. A very bright student. So for me, I don't accept that. I say, you point. Does it go up or it goes down? Show me. So now people are saying, earpods. That means what? Is it earpod or it is airpod? I don't know. Ear or air? Guys are trying to be, to be smart. He shared his dream. I am selling these airports. Unless you share your dream, those who are called to support you cannot support you. But also, when you share your dream, 
those who are struggling with the spirit of envy and jealousy are alerted that he has a new target. Joseph shared his dream and listened to the response. Yeah. For you now you are happy for honorable Molly. Yeah. But these ones, they said, his brothers, so, uh -huh. so you think you're going to be king over us? Do you think? Once you hear such statements, do you think? What does she think? What do you think? You know that there's that spirit of envy, jealousy. Do you think you will reign over us? And it says, and they hated him more because of his dreams. There are people who will hate you because of your dreams. Ah, but you can't stop. Soon Joseph had another dream. And this time he told his dad. Even his dad, sometimes even your spiritual parents can be shocked by your dream. But you have to share it. He told the dream to his father as well as to his brother. But his father scolded him, said, what kind of dream is that? And some of you, that's what you undergo. You tell, you tell your parents a dream and say, me, I'm going to be an, a, 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 a musician. And they say, what kind, of, what kind of dream is that? Our family, we are doctors. Yes. There's a place called Kanyum. I know some of you don't know it. And in, in that place, Kanyum, there's a place called Kogili. Now that is my village. And it is a village of doctors. The way you hear it. My neighbor is Dr. Okiria from uh, of, uh, of Clark University. The other side, there's a professor who, Dr. Pelu. They all come from that area. A place of doctors. Yeah. He. Uh, uh. Byron, hmm? you're not happy. Eh? You're not happy. So if you come from there and you say, Me, I'm going to be a musician, people are going to say, What kind of dream is that? Look at this house, it is for Dr. So and so. Look at this. Is Dr. Opolot. This one, so please get, get with the program. Get with the program. Some of us are actually considered uh, uh, dropouts because I, I, I stopped my medical pursuits at master's level. Everyone around has a PhD. Sometimes your dream is different from the people around you. That's why you must leave. It says leave your father's house, leave what? And just hear from God your dream. And that's the one you pursue. We already covered, uh, well, so that was a, a small by the way. Now, you speak your dream and what happens? Verse 12. Soon after this, Joseph's brothers went to pasture their father's flock at Shechem. When they had been gone for some time, Jacob said to Joseph, your brothers are pasturing the sheep at Shechem. Get ready and I will send you to them. Which already shows you a lot of things. He was concerned about the brothers. Remember, these are the brothers who were saying, he doesn't love us. But he was caring for them. And there's a, a message in that. Joseph said, I'm ready to go. Go and see your brothers and the flocks, are, how they are getting along. Then come back, bring me a report. So Joseph, J Jacob sent him on his way and Joseph traveled to Shechem from their home in the valley of Hebron. He couldn't find them. They had moved on. 
So Joseph followed them. Verse 18. When Joseph's brothers saw him coming, they recognized him in the distance. As he approached, imagine, he had not yet reached. They made plans to kill him. And we shared that that is the danger of envy and jealousy. Because it started by saying they already hated him. And why did they hate him? Because of his nice outfit. Because of his nice shirt. Like doctor's shirt. Hallelujah. Isn't the shirt, isn't it smart? Hey. People are not telling me. People are not giving me energy. So I had to put it in the, in the sermon. <laughs> Joseph was hated because of his nice what? His nice shirt. Hallelujah. So they made plans to kill him. And, and we said that's why envy and jealousy are so dangerous. Because the next step is assassination. And assassination can be a physical or it can be character assassination. They see you, they're like, ha! That man has joined the choir. Hey! You've made a mistake. You've been doing well, but for that man to join choir, you're finished. He's deadly. And they start character assassinating. That man, he joined Watoto Choir. Then this happened. Then he went here. Now he has come to you. That is character assassination. So immediately they made plans to kill him. Of course, with a cover up. They say we can tell our father a wild animal has eaten him. So now Reuben had and came to his brother's rescue. Let's not kill him. Why should we shed any blood? Let's throw him into this empty cistern here. Then he will die without our laying a hand on him. And Reuben was secretly planning to rescue Joseph and return him to his father. And this is where we stopped. And we said, you must share your dream. When you share your dream, those who are called to support you can now follow you. But also those who hate you, they now hate you more. And they make plans to assassinate you. If not your physical body, but at least your character, your reputation. And the Bible says a good name is better than gold. So if I get, take away your name, I have finished you. I don't need to even kill you. Yes? And because of people rising up, we see that Joseph ended up in a pit. And what is that pit? Many of you have been in that pit. You share your dream, things start moving, it's like you are making progress, and then, poof, you find yourself in a pit. And you don't know what to do. And we shared and we prayed that time and we clo closed the service with that prayer. That you would finish because the pit has certain lessons. For example, the pit, first of all, helps you to learn how to be alone. Eh? Sometimes you need to learn how to be alone. You, you are the popular person. They're like, eh. Hey. People even use you to advertise. They're like, so and so will also be there. Hey. And then something happens. Ch -ch -ch -ch. You are alone. Divine repositioning, you must be ready to be alone. Just you. That is why some of your friends had to leave. That's why that relationship had to end. Some of you, because you fear being alone, you just keep jumping. Some guy comes, you are there, you are there. He says, go. You run immediately. You cling to another guy. Because you're like, me, I can't be alone. Ah, ah. Who will take care of my nails? Who will do my hair? I, I can't. I have a certain standard. 
I can't be there alone. Yes, you can. You can be alone. Be happy alone. Some of you to get for God to get you alone, he must really Some of you God had to take away your cars. God had to take away your cars because you are all over the place. There's this concert you are there. There's what this wedding you are there. Where are you are there. You start being a socialite. You know there are some people they have built a career on being there. There's nothing you can see that they do. They don't sing, they don't dance, they don't there's nothing but they are there. So and so was there. And people even get now get paid to be there. Yes. You didn't know that. When you're launching like a new club or a new restaurant or something, there are some people you can pay them and then they be there. And then they take pictures. Then they post. Then you trend, your place trends. So and so was there. When you look for the person, there's nothing clear you can see that they contribute apart from being there. If you are if you are there on being there, you cannot hear the voice of God. You cannot receive the dream. Joseph ended up in a pit for a deep conversation because you could see that Joseph had a lot of uh, uh, emotional problems. Can I say or, or, or lack of uh, lack of emotional intelligence? I think that was one of his biggest problems. He was telling people who hated him the things he wanted to do. That's lacking some understanding. Yes. We said, yes, you must share your dream, but also not share it with everyone. Because there are those who will hate you. So you must see, who are the people who, who are with me? Yes? Share the dream. But Joseph was just sharing that, ah, these are my brothers, you know, even though we have different mothers, but you know, the same dad. So he shared. Now God had to get him alone. And some of you, God is trying to get your attention, but he can't get you. Every day you have a program. The pit is a place of prayer. Jesus himself the Son of God Himself needed time alone to pray. When do you pray? When you come here, we hardly pray. There's so much program, you know, testimonies, reports, what? When do you pray? You must have a time of prayer alone. At, at school, we're very good at it. Every morning, five in the morning, they would say, time for morning glory, and you pray. At the university, the same. Then you get, you get married, then you have children. School, some schools want children to be there by five. One of the, one of the, 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 the schools our kids were, were in, by five, they were supposed to be in class. Meaning by 4.30, you're setting off. Every day. So how do you pray? When are you going to, are you going to pray at 3? Yes, maybe you'll have to pray at 3. Because the power, the breakthrough, the, the repositioning happens when you pray, when you're on your knees, you and God. Elder Papa Claude shared with us how his, his mother 
would do a full service every morning alone. They are in bed sleeping. For her, she says, yes, it's another day. Welcome to praise the Lord. The scripture reading this morning is from Psalms. And she does the scripture reading. She says, now we're going to sing. She starts singing alone. All of them, are there like, they can't sleep, yes? Every day. Then she says, now it's time for intercession. And she starts. Rabashataya Santa, Ramashatata. What time was that? Five in the morning, alone in the house. Because she knew the secret of divine repositioning. You have to be alone. You and God and you pray. Some of you, God is just calling you back to be alone. Don't waste our time coming. You know, there are people who are always, they always having the same prayers. Pastor, pray for me. Uh, I don't have anyone. I'm an orphan. But maybe God is trying to get you alone. I get one boyfriend, then they chase me. Then I get what? God is, then you start wasting all of our time. I say, I pray for you. Then you hang around, you wait for uh, Elder Stephen. You also go to him. He also prays for you. Then you say, ah, let me wait for Papa. He's still busy. Then you also go to him. God is trying to get you alone. <clears throat> Hallelujah. This is for the young people, but even for the old people. God is trying to get you alone. To be comfortable alone. You don't need to be in a relationship. Until you get a dream. You see? Tony got a dream. He started saying, I'm going to marry Via. He's been talking like that for how long? Two, it's almost two years, three years? Ah. So our brother Swabo has got a dream. He hasn't yet talked much. But I'm just alerting all of you. Who, who, who are <laughs> hey, what do the lawyers say all and sandry hmm? be put on notice this young man has a dream hey, and any time he's going to reveal to you the dream hallelujah Let's stand up and pray. I'm going to ask the musicians to come. We're going to pray a bit just in the spirit. You know, don't get tired of prayer. You know, sometimes you get worried when you hear people praying loudly or they are jumping. You're saying, what is going on? When Joseph was there in the pit, you think he cared who was seeing him or who was doing what? You think he cared that he, he cried until tears poured and, and mixed with saliva and what? How do you think he prayed in that pit? Do you think he was worried that they are seeing me? He was there even... <laughs> even his nice kashat. Even his nice... They call it what? Chisat. Had been ripped off. Because remember, there was a cover up. They got a goat, killed the goat, then they put the nice thing on, on the goat. Imagine. All because of jealousy. I want us to take just two minutes and you cry out to God. If it is you that is in a pit, you feel you are in a pit. You have big dreams. You have big plans, but you're just confined. You can't get out. Joseph was in a pit, but he did not stay in the pit. But he finished the assignment of the pit. 
This is the time of divine repositioning. It is time for you to get out of the pit. It's time for you to learn how to be alone. It is time for you to learn how to pray. Just you and God. Let's begin to pray. Just open your mouth and pray. Rabba shantiya santa la bashata yama. Rama shantiya santa la bashata yama. Rama seta la bashata yama. Rama shantiya ma santa yama. O shanta la bashata yama santa yama. Rama shantiya ma santa yama. O shanta yama santa yama santa yama. We rebuke that spirit that holds on to false companionship, that holds on to wrong relationships. Young people, we loose you from wrong relationships. You are in a relationship just because of some weird idea you have that you cannot be alone. You are in a relationship and you cannot get out because you're like, this is where I get my money. That is a lie. We already saw that it is the Lord that gives you the ability to create wealth. It is the Lord and not a man, not a woman, not a relationship. It is God. It is God. Maybe you got kicked out. You lost everything. You lost your cars. You lost your houses. You lost your friends. God is trying to get you alone. It is God that removed them. It is God that sustained you. It is God that helped you in the desert. Oh, Shatayaba Center. Your feet did not swell. Your clothes looked good. Everyone has been looking at you. You look good. But inside, you are dying. You're like, I used to be someone. I used to have power. I had, I had bodyguards. I had big cars. But God, what is this? God is trying to get you alone. God is trying to talk to you. How long must he look for you? <laughs> God is looking for you. God is speaking to you. God is trying to be close to you. But you are too busy. Running from the air to there. This party, this fundraiser. Oh, Shataya Santarabashataba. Oh, Santarabashata. Oh, Santarabashataba. Oh, Santarabashataba. Oh, Santarabashataba. Oh, Santarabashataba. Oh, Santarabashataba. Oh, Shantaba. Let's lift up your voice and pray. Pray like Joseph prayed in the pit. He didn't care who could see him or who could do what. He was saying, God, all I need is a solution out of this pit. Lift me out of the pit. Take me out of this pit. Oh, Shapaba Satayabasha. Oh, Shantarabashada. Oh, Sandarabashataba. Oh, Santarabashantaraba. Oh, Shantaraba. And my face will be there. Just take 60 seconds and cry out to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Open your mouth. Shantayaba Santarabasha. Rama Shantayaba Santaraba. Roma Santaraba Shantaraba. Get us out of the pit of God. Take me out of the pit of God. Let me learn my lesson of the pit of God. Let me learn how to pray. Let me learn how to be with you. It says Jesus often withdrew to a lonely place to be alone. Oh, shut He went on to the mountain top. He went into the garden. He went into a place that he could be alone with God. Alone with God. Alone with God. Just him and God. Speak to God. Speak to him. One on one. Oh, shut Rama 